making a lot of DC content lately, I guess. But let's talk about Lois Lane. Here's the thing that the movies need to understand about Lois Lane. She is not just Superman's love interest. She is one of the best journalists in the world. That's important. She is intelligent, cunning, and fearless. She throws herself into all sorts of situations that a regular person has no business being in to get the story, to get the truth. To the point where she even makes Superman feel nervous because she's like, she's getting really close to my secrets. Lex Luthor should constantly be targeting her, not because he knows Superman has a thing for her, but because she's always this close to uncovering all of the shady stuff that he's always doing. You know, like how many parts of the world treat real journalists. And one of the reasons she hasn't just flat out been assassinated yet is because of Superman and he's always protecting her. She is the person who is on the ground while Brainiac is invading, while the White Martians are running amok and getting the story. But she's also the one sneaking into factories and warehouses where she's pretty sure Lex Luthor is importing illegal goods. And Superman's running into her in these places because he's also investigating. He's like, Lois, you, you can't be here. And she's like, yeah, no, I do have to be here. I have to get the story. That's my job. Clark Kent can get the story because he's Superman. Lois gets the story because she's the best. And the idea that Superman has always been under her nose this entire time is really funny. And yeah, Superman is under Lois Lane's nose, but Superman's under everybody's nose. That's the whole point, is that it seems so impossible that they all miss the obvious. But that's what brings the two of them together. That's why Superman has such respect for her because he can go into those situations because he's bulletproof. She's not bulletproof, she's just determined. She's really cool and a very interesting character and they should write her better. She's also dyslexic. That's the running joke of why she can't spell, she's dyslexic.